Will you apologize to the American people for the role you played in the opioid crisis, Dr. Sackler? I would be happy to apologize to the American people for all of the pain they've suffered. I think that- I, 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 I know you're angry and I'm sorry, uh, but that's not the apology we were looking for. You apologize for the pain people have suffered, but you've never apologized for the role that you played in the opioid crisis. So I'll ask you again, will you apologize for the role you played in the opioid crisis? I have struggled with that question. I have asked myself over many years, I have tried to figure out, was is there anything that I could have done differently knowing what I knew then, not what I know now. And, and I, I have to say, it is, I can't, there is nothing that I can find that I would have done differently based on what I believed and understood then and how, what I learned from management and the reports to the board and what I learned from my colleagues on the board. What you have heard from the press about the Sacklers is almost certainly wrong and highly distorted. We also fully acknowledge that there is an opioid crisis that has ruined too many lives and that OxyContin addiction and abuse played a role in that. I am deeply and profoundly sorry that OxyContin has played a role in any addiction and death. While I believe uh, I conducted myself legally and ethically, and I believe the full record will demonstrate that. If so, Mr. Sackler, in my district was caught flooding, my district with opioids, we know damn well that they would be tried and locked up. They would be thrown into jail. So my question is, why is it okay that people like you who are directly responsible for causing a national opiate addiction pandemic, people who are directly liable for hundreds of thousands of lives lost, are instead rewarded with millions of dollars in salary and walk free? You're using our bankruptcy process and everything to walk free. People at the top of this company, including those testifying today, Madam Chair, should pay billions in compensation to families they devastated and serve time Importantly, to the crisis they unleashed. What time did Purdue, what year about did you learn that OxyContin was highly addictive? Uh, I think uh, the highly addictive nature or the addictive nature of opioids is something we, we've known, doctors and patients, and, and Purdue has known since the beginning of the use of opioids uh, millennia ago. Was it significantly more prescribed in the United States than other Western countries? Uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I mean, Purdue versus the other Western countries, Purdue introduced OxyContin, other countries introduced it later, but also other opioids. Um, so it's, it's not an easy comparison. I, I believe the answer that you're looking for is that yes, the U United States as a whole uh, is the largest consumer of opioids writ large uh, in the world. What we need is a reckoning and accountability for drug companies who put profits over people and rob us of lives and freedom of our loved ones. People struggling with addiction are not criminals. Your family and Purdue Farmer, you are the criminals. You are the ones who disregard your duties to society and you should be ashamed of yourselves.